What's up everyone, it's me Sivo. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to program a warning system. So, if you don't know what a warning system is, basically when someone, say, say you warn someone, it gives them a warn and it puts it in a database. And then if you, I'm going to do this thing where if you get warned three times, it's going to tempt you, you for like ever how many seconds you want, you can choose. And then it will uh, unmute you after the time. You can also create on that and make it so if you get muted, two times it like um makes it double the length and if you get muted three times then it bans you but i'll let you guys figure that one out so we're going to be using sql light so make sure you import sql light free it should be already installed to python if it ain't just do pip install sql light free once you have done that we're just going to do an on ready event so at bot dot event and then we're going to do async there on underscore ready and then we're going to uh, make a database. So first we'll connect to it. So sqlite3.connect. And then we're just going to call it, let's just call it warning.sqlite. And um, we're just going to make a cursor. So cursor, This you should know how to do this stuff if you've learned sqlite. I really recommend using sqlite to um, like with Python and then it's pretty fun. You can make any database you want really. And then just do cursor like that. And then now we're going to create the, the table. So how we do this is cursor.execute. And then we're going to do create. Make sure you use capitals create a table if not exists. So I can't spell exists. A I T. Yeah, there we go. And then we're just going to call it warns or just warn. It can be whatever you want. So we're just going to call it warns. And then we're going to create um four things. We're going to create a user, reason, time and guild. So first we just do user integer and then we're just going to do a reason. So we need to get the user's reason and we could just put that in the text and then we can get the time of when the person, um, you know, got banned or warned, I mean, and then you're going to have to get the guild, obviously, because if you get the user's um, ID and you don't get the guild, then it's going to meet you in all the other servers, ain't it? So um, we're just going to do integer like that. And now once you have done that, uh, that should be it. I'm just going to print this so it says bot is online. Bot is online. And then we're also going to, yeah, that's it. Now we're going to make an async def. So basically what this does is add the warn to the database and we put it into the warn system. And we can also, uh, no, we don't use that to delete it. So just do async def. Now we're just going to go add warn. And then we're just going to put in a... Um, Going to be putting in ctx reason and then the user and then um db equals sqlite free dot connect uh you can just copy this actually so we'll just do that um and then um once you have connected to the database uh we're just going to execute so we're going to insert information so cursor dot execute and then we're just going to do insert into uh the forms so basically insert into the table the name of the table and we're going to insert into every uh value the integer text and blah 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 so do user reason and then time and then guild and now we're going to have when you with sql you have to do the values so you put in how many question marks there is on how many um things you want to insert into so we're, uh, we've got four so we're going to do four and then we're also going to go outside these quotations here and then you're going to do a comma and then you got another bracket and then you're going to do get the user id so as you see here we put the user basically this will just get the user and we'll get the values of that when we actually um will put it into a command and then we're also going to get a reason and then we're also going to get the date and time so how you get the date and time all you're going to do is import date and time actually no you're going to do from date time import date time just like that now once you have done that we're going to get the date time what is now in the real world so we'll just do date time dot now and we're also going to get the timestamp of it so we're going to do dot timestamp just like that and then just make sure you put brackets as it's like a function and then um we're just going to get the guild so as we've got ctx here we can actually get a guild so um we're just going to do ctx dot guild dot id just like that and um, that should be it, uh, yep, and that's all that for that. Make sure you commit it, 
if you don't commit it and you run this in a command it won't actually insert the information and nothing will happen so just make sure you commit it like that now let's get on to um, making the warn command um the start if you just want to warn people sure that will take about three lines but to, to um it's a bit longer to uh do the like well, you have to get the length of ever how many you've been warned so anyways let's just do at bot dot command and then we could just do we're gonna have to get the permission so if we just do at commands because we can't just have anyone um use this has permissions and we just go let's just say uh kick members so if you could if you have the permissions of kick members or either administrator is fine but if you have the of kicking members is that as well members no that is not as members there we go we're just going to set that to true and then we're going to do async def warn and then you're just going to put ctx inside here we're going to get the member so member and then discord dot member and then we're just going to get we're going to use an asterisk so because we need to put an argument and this is where we get the reason so reason and we're just going to put this as a string and its default value is just going to be no reason so if you don't put anything it's just going to say no reason next to the message you put and now once we have done this we're going to await and we're going to get the add warn and then with this we're going to put in three values so we've got to put in the ctx the reason and the user so basically the user is going to be user is going to be um blah, 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 the ctx well no no the ctx is going to be the ctx <laughs> and then the member and then we're going to get in the reason so basically you can just basically you're using this uh, as the same as this in a way and then await ctx.send and then we're just going to say just a default message warned um uh, member don't uh mention oh actually we're going to do member nah do mention and then um for and then you put in the reason there okay um now uh i can't spell reason all right now if you want you can skip ahead if you don't want to know how to do the if you temp mute but we're going to do that now so um make sure you've got a role on your discord server called mute or muted and make sure it's um got everything unchecked like everything's on the gray bit to the left that will be a muted role and we will grab that through um all right now we're going to have to connect to the database so just do this and then we're just going to do, um, once we have connected, literally all we're going to do is select everything from the database. So cursor.execute. And we're just going to do select. And then we're going to do asterisk. So asterisk means everything, basically. And then from warns where uh, the user is equal. So the user is equal and the guild is equal. And then um, we're just going to... Uh, do member member dot id and then ctx dot guild dot id now once we have done that we're just going to do data equals cursor dot because we've got to get them all so we're going to fetch all of them but as we're not just getting one uh there is an error here what did i do um i have no idea uh oh that's what i did there we go okay uh and then now we're going to do so if the length of the data so if your id is more than basically three so if you get three ones so we'll just do greater or equal to three in case it goes over three then we're just going to do we're going to create a get the muted role so we go mute role is it equal to discord dot utiles and then we're going to do dot get and then ctx dot we're going to get the guild so guild and then we're going to get the guild roles and um, the name of the roles basically is muted if you've named it without a capital M make sure you do that as it's very um syntax prone I think and then we're just going to do await member.add roles so basically this adds the role to the user and we're going to add the mute role and then we're just going to just give a message like a wait ctx send um you have been warned uh, and then we can put in the amount so we can just do length of the data and then times and you are now temp muted just like that 
And then we can we can make it so it only lasts for six seconds. Unless you want to mute on forever, you don't have to do any of this. But just do await a single um I've got a spell a there we go. And then we're gonna do dot sleep. And we're just gonna just for testing purposes, we're gonna make it ten seconds. But you can put if you do sixty a minute, if you do a thousand, then well you do the maths. Uh and then we're just gonna after that we're just gonna remove it. So remove rolls. And we're just going to remove the muted rule. Just like that. And then we'll just do a wait ctx.send. And we'll just do um, a string member.mention. You have been unmuted. Simple as that. And that will basically work. It should work. We'll test out afterwards. We made the remove rule. So yeah. So now we're going to make the remove roll. Basically, what this does is just removes everything. So yeah, so um, we can actually just do at at um at bot dot command async def, and we we'll just go remove the wall, and we we'll put ctx in here, and then we can just put the member at discord dot member, and then after this, we're just going to connect to the database. So we we'll just copy that. Saves us a little bit of time. And then um, once we have done that, we're just going to select from the... Well, actually, we can copy this. Quest.execute. And select from... select. So we're going to select the reason from warns where user equals guild, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to do cursor.fetch1. If there's a reason, it will go through it. So if they are... Cursor.execute. Um, I forgot to do this. Uh, uh, data equals cursor.fetch1. If cursor dot, uh, cursor dot execute, we're going to delete. So we're going to delete. Uh, delete. Is that useful delete? I don't, I'm spelling delete wrong, ain't I? The, yes, there we go. From wall. So we're going to delete from the database where user is equal to and guild is equal to question mark and then we're just going to put in the member id so we're going to put in the values for it so member.id and uh, ctx.guild.id and that should delete we can just do await ctx.send and then we can just do won't have been removed Okay, and now we can just commit this. Also, also, if you don't have any warnings, we can just do else await oh, ctx send. You don't have any warnings. All right, now if we just do db.commit, so this will update the database basically. That should be everything. This should be all of the code. And now if we just play the bot, so hopefully everything works. We've got no errors. That would be amazing. Please, please. Okay, I had a little error. I've got to put a bracket at the end of here. So um, just play that and it should work now. The bot is online. I've also got my database all loaded up. So if I, I've got this uh, software called DB Browser. You can check all your database here. As you see, I've got the user reason time guild. Now, if we go into our Discord, if we just do... Let's just do... um, Let's do the remove wall first. And uh, let's just do add jack. It's going to say you don't have any warnings. And then if we just do wall add jack... And then uh, it will say, okay guys, so there was an error and it was a very simple and very hard to find. But basically the reason a member, I had member replacing the reason and reason replacing the member. So it's supposed to link up this. So the reason is this, the member is this. So yeah, so make sure you got that the right way around. Otherwise it will not work. Um, So let's just run the bot and I'll show you. If we just do warn and I warn... um this guy here and then i'll say being gay it's gonna say warn being gay and if i warn him again uh warn a jack without saying any reason it's gonna say warn for, uh, for no reason and now if you see here it's that if the length of it if we've been warned more than three times it's gonna mute them so if we check they haven't got muted we've got a muted role here so it's gonna give them that so if we warn them again warn at jack and then it's going to say Warned for no reason, you have been warned three times and you are now 10 muted. Wait a few seconds and then they will be unmuted. Uh, how many was it? 10? Uh, so just wait 10 seconds and it should see. You have been unmuted, so the roll is now gone. 
And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. 